Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Jorge Castillo with the LA Times. I cover the Dodgers and these two guys to the side of me, Dylan Hernandez, Bill Plaschke, columnist here at the LA Times, coming along for, the, for another Dodger ride, not another Dodger October ride. We'll see how long this one lasts. It might be just one day, just one night. Tomorrow or it might night. be four weeks. Or it might be four weeks. Who knows? They have a wild card game tomorrow night after winning 106 games, tying a franchise record. Stupid their reward, Stupid their reward is a one-game playoff here at Dodger Stadium against the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, you know, if they lose, they're done. If they win, they might go on to win the World Series. But. In my opinion, this is the game for the whole season. I think if they win this game, they're going to go. They're going to win the World Series. This is their biggest hurdle. Because they'll, cause, cause they'll, they'll, they'll beat anybody in a seven-game series. They'll beat anybody in a five-game series. One game's too much of a coin flip. You just don't know. But this is, to me, this is a, the biggest hurdle, the only hurdle of the postseason. And right now, the, the hurdle is Adam Wainwright. Tomorrow, a few weeks after, he went eight and a third, I think it was, in St. Louis against the Dodgers. Um, he'll, he'll start opposite Max Scherzer, who, has, who came here to L.A. and just was the best pitcher in baseball for nine starts. The last two have been kind of rocky. You actually asked him about that. How he plans to to rebound from that? Yeah, you know, and uh, just kind of his demeanor was kind of the way he pitches, right? Very kind of straightforward, like no excuses. Uh, you know, unlike Plashke, he was not complaining about the playoff format. Actually, said that it was a great playoff I'm format. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. He would say that it was that was, it was great. <laughs> yeah, because he's you that's know, why baseball so far of, behind. Bad of character. <laughs> no, so. you, the, the NBA. That's why the NBA <laughs> sells more tickets in baseball because the NBA does it right. Well, anyway, so I think looking at at least like his demeanor the day before uh, you got to like where he is obviously he's got the experience of having won the World Series in 2019 um, yeah beating the last, these guys on the way beating these guys on the way you know the yeah you know the last two starts a little bit disconcerting but uh, you know Wainwright this ballpark uh, you know hasn't always worked out for him here yeah well yeah but Wainwright is to me he's a Cy Young winner I think I'd pick because he was been unbelievable the way he's battled through his age battled through his infirmities He's, he's the kind of pitcher, isn't he, Horry, the kind of pitcher the Dodgers hate facing because he's soft contact, misses barrels. Yep. He, he's not overpowering. He's not overpowering. And this really, this whole Cardinals pitching staff does that. They don't strike out guys and they don't generate a lot of swing and misses. Their stuff is soft, um, generating soft contact, making you beat them. And their defense is elite, elite, the best defense in baseball. You know, Nolan Alvarez, I know, at third base, but they have guys everywhere that play plus-plus defense. But uh, that's, I think, where you kind of like the Dodgers' offense, where they've kind of been coming along the last week, right? I mean, Corey Seager's hot. You know, Mookie Betts is hot. 19 I mean, home runs right? in four and, games, and Justin, I think. And Justin Turner is a guy that, you know, come October, usually comes up right. with, like, a big moment or the something. The other Turner. And then the, the other, other Turner. Turner uh, might be the best player on the team. Yeah, it might be, at this point, might be the best player on the team. The, the, the skill set, the five tools, might be a, he's going to be a top-five MVP guy. He's come here, and, and just like Max Scherzer has, he's been great for them down the stretch. Um, as for the pitching plan after Max Scherzer, we might see Julio Urias out of, out of the bullpen um, after pitching Saturday. We saw what he did out of the bullpen last year in October. We will not see Walker Buehler out of the bullpen. Dave Roberts said he will not be on the roster. He will pitch. He would pitch game one if there is a game one of the NLDS Friday against the Giants. So, you know, Julio Urias is a huge weapon out of there, and then you got Blake Trinan, obviously, and Kenley So Jansen. what about Max Muncy? What do they do? How do they replace Max Muncy in the field? at the plate, what do they do? Albert, you're talking about Albert Pujols? Is, it, is that, is that going to be their answer? I think it's Albert Pujols. The other name that uh, Dave Roberts, the first name Dave Roberts mentioned when he was asked that question was Matt Beatty. And Matt Beatty might play first base tomorrow. He's a left-handed hitter, getting another left-handed bat against Wainwright, a right-hander. Um, so we might see it's either going to be Beatty or, 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 or Pujols, I think. I actually don't mind. The, I, like, I actually kind of like the Pujols matchup. You know, like you said, there's a guy who's not kind of overpowering. You have a smart hitter who kind of knows what to do situationally. He might actually be the right guy. I, I think Miss and Muncy is going to be huge. I think it's going to be it's a, that, that crater is that's a crater in the lineup. And even people are saying Trey Turner has to prove some of his success to Muncy batting behind him, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. That, that's been huge. And, and Muncy's a guy who, who takes a lot of pitches, and, and he's had his October moments here. He hasn't, he hasn't been here too long, but over the last three years, he's come up big um, for the Dodgers time and time again in October. So we'll see what, what, what happens there. I think it's Beatty or Pujols. Um, and ultimately, guys, it comes down to tomorrow. One game. They win 106, and they might come down to one loss tomorrow night here. Bill, what do you think is going to happen tomorrow? Bottom line is the Cardinals had to win 17 straight games even to get in the playoffs. The Dodgers are a much better team. They're at home. They got Scherzer. They're going to win this game, and they're going to go on to win the World Series. I'm saying that right now. Write that down. They win this game. They win the World Series. Greatest team in history. I say they win tomorrow. I say, you know, again, the Dodger Stadium crowd's going to get behind. They're going to kind of roll to a pretty easy thing. I do think they will get to the World Series. 
where they might get swept by the Astros. Wow. Oh no! Why are you bringing up the Astros? I had to bring that. Of course he did. Um, I think they win tomorrow night. After that, we'll see. I'll, I'll, leave, I'll keep you guys updated. I gotta do my research. Oh come on! Appreciate come it, guys. Come on, go on a limb. <laughs> I think the Dodgers are gonna win tomorrow night and not win the World Series. But we'll see where. I'm not sure where. You like the lose. Astros in four too? I don't like the Astros in four. I like the Astros winning American League, but the Dodgers beat them. It's revenge. Revenge, that, that, fellas. That, that, that'd be per, that'd be. Everyone here in LA and Dodger Stadium would love that story. That would be the greatest World Series the first in years. The chapter will be written tomorrow night when he yeah. Cardinals. Well, that's what you got. That, that's Bill Plasky right there giving you his, his hot takes. <laughs> we got history. Dylan. We got Dylan Hernandez over here at Jorge Castillo. Thanks for guys for watching.